Hi everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it's Drew here at Drusifer's Idiocracy. I'm sitting outside in the wonderful weather we're having today, which is really surprising for Oklahoma. Um, but um, anyways, um, I don't really know what to talk about today. Like I, I, I always feel obligated to make a video every day. I'm like, what the hell am I going to talk about? But, you know, um, I know someone said they're enjoying my landmark stories from when I was in rehab. I think I've pretty much told everything. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about Jessica. Jessica was this girl. She's She was last year's Teacher of the Year for the state of Kentucky. And um, she and Luke and I had this little joke going where we say, Nah, mean, I'm saying, nah, mean. Um, like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But we're saying it like, thug. Um... And we made posters for Pride, and one of them said, Yas, queen, you know what I'm saying, I mean? And then we had um, a sign put up over the water cooler, or the ice chest, uh, so people would, wouldn't would leave the scoop inside the ice, because that's dirty, just your hands on it. Um, and so she made a sign, uh, Jessica did, and it said... Please don't leave the scoop in the ice because that's nasty. Nah, I mean, I'm saying. So, um, it was really funny. Like, we, me, her, and Luke would do it all the time. Like, we'd be just randomly talking and we just throw it in. Or we wouldn't even be talking and we would just say, Nah, I mean, I'm saying, nah, I mean. Um, and that's especially funny to me because uh, when I was living in St. Louis, I can't remember the exact circumstances, but there was this little black boy, and he goes, Nami! <laughs> After he was saying something, I thought that was so freaking cute. Um, and I'm expecting a FaceTime call any minute now from Kelsey, uh, so, and then we're going to bring in Luke so we can do a three-time FaceTime call, or three-way FaceTime call, um, which I discovered since getting out of the landmark in the winter that you can do now on iPhones, which... Word to the wise, you can do that now. Um, but anyways, oh, I didn't tell you guys about Kelsey. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because that was the, um, apparently. Um, <laughs> I watched like six hours. No, not that long. Maybe like three hours of um, YouTube Vine compilation videos um, one night when I couldn't sleep. It was like the first night I was back because they didn't give me my sleep medication whenever I left. So, ooh, excuse me. I um had to fill my time somehow. I tried to watch TV and I got bored of that. And I just was like, I need to do something. And then I remembered. Kelsey told me about all of these vines I had never seen. And so I just kept on going to compilation video after compilation video. Some of them were like 35 minutes long of clips that, that average five to ten seconds about. Um, so, it was really fun. Uh, so there were some repeats. Um, but it was it was still very enjoyable. And now I have more inside jokes with Kelsey. Love you, Kelsey. Um, for instance, what are what were some of the ones? Look at all those chickens! And <laughs> I got a free taco. Bam! Guy falls down after he got a free taco and he smashes the taco. Um, and fresh avocado. It, it was a sign for, um, I think it was Wendy's. And it said fresh avocado, but there were like gaps in between um, parts of each word. And so it said fresh Avocado. <laughs> um, and the woman in the, in the clip was just laughing her ass off. Whoops, I said, uh, like, I'm trying to get reaccustomed to not cussing because I'm on YouTube now. But let me tell you what, when I was in treatment, it was like curse city. Like, every other word out of my mouth was like a cuss word. Not that bad. Not that bad. But... Like I said in my 4th of July video, you guys haven't even seen my final form. When I was in rehab, I assumed, like, out of the gate, like, 
Let me let me push this back. I walk out to go to go vape, and I was like, "Hey!" It wasn't quite like that. It wasn't as dramatic and um, crazy, but um, I was very myself unapologetically, which I've discovered. That's when I find the most acceptance and people loving me um, because they're seeing the real me. And um, like there are people who don't like it, and that's fine. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I don't want to be liked by, anybody, uh, by everybody anyways. Um, you know, I just, I like to be appreciated for me being myself. And I know all of you do that. I, I can read that in the comments. And it's just... It's wonderful to know that people like me, even when I'm at my, I, was, I don't want to say craziest, maybe zaniest. We'll say zaniest, because I am quite zany. Um, and I was watching one of my drag queen shows today, or was it yesterday? I think it might have been yesterday. And they were like, I don't trust anybody who says they're funny, so I'm going to stop saying I'm funny. I'll just let you guys be the judge of that. So... I gotta sneeze. <gasps> oh, that was a good one. Sorry you had to see that. Thank God snot didn't come out my nose. Oh. Um, but anyways, um, how long? Oh, this is only like not even seven minutes yet. Oh, there's, here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I said, it's all right. Little darling. I don't know the rest of the words. But, oh, now it's hot. Um, there's, this, there's this thing. I mean, this, this might be a pop culture reference lost on some of you. But when I was in Chicago one time, I um, was hanging out with some friends and uh, one of my rugby brother's boyfriends, well, they're no longer together, but they were at the time. Um, we, were, we were laying out and he goes, he goes, God, let's go to Paris Hilton with the weather report. Paris, it's hot. Thank you, Paris. <laughs> so I said that a couple times when I was in treatment because um, it was definitely very warm. I actually, I got a suntan. Let's see if you can see it. Can you see it, ladies? Can you see that? The white right there? My second day, I got a nice little sunburn in my tank top. And I just got nice and tan. And it was... Um, uh, um, um, it was nice. Like, it was just a light enough of a burn that it didn't hurt. The red lasted for a couple days, but... Like, it just turned into a nice little tan really quickly. I only laid out a couple times there. I was, like, I just wanted to even out my tan because I got mostly tan on the front but not on the back. So I laid out so I could get the back some sun as well. Um, in the beginning, it wasn't as hot as it was in the end. Like, I would go outside at night and I would sweat my balls off. Literally. And as you've seen in videos, I get boob sweat right here. It's the first place I sweat. Not for my armpits, but my boobies. Um, it's it's annoying. I often wonder if I have like hyperhidrosis, because or maybe it's just because I'm fat. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm sweating now. It's, cloud, come back, come back, cloud. Maybe I should sit in the shade, but then you won't be able to see me. Ugh. Damn this, having good light for videos. Mm -mm, not having it. Um, let me text Kelsey really quick and see what she is up to. Face ID. Got it. I got a new phone. It's blue. My favorite color. Um, oh, also, I'm going to take down my, um, Happy Mail, uh, post office box, um, because I need to, um, um, transfer it to Louisville, and, um, I am, oh my god, I'm sweating so hard, god, 
um, and I need to do a change of address. So if anything is in the mail right now, it'll come to my house, but I'll eventually set up a P.O. box for when I'm in Louisville. I just need to find out which post office is closest to the house I'm going to be living in so I can um, get that set up. And just so you know, I never expect Happy Mail. It's just um, a delicious surprise every time I go and I find something. So, ah, uh, here's the shade. That's the stuff. Oh, and there's a lot of clouds behind this cloud. Oh, butamus. Butamus. Oh, I already feel so much cooler. I'm still sweating, obviously, but... Oh. And it's like a long cloud, too. Oh, God, yes. Yes, queen, slay the house down boots! Um, anyway, I lost my train of thought. Um, I was probably talking about sweating in my P.O. box. Yeah, I was talking about the P.O. box. So, um, I'm going to stop. Oh, God, sorry, you had to see that. I have an itch inside of my nose. Um, but I'm going to, no, there's a break in the cloud. Uh, all right, here comes the sun, do, 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 here comes the sun, and I said, it's all right, but all right, uh, I'm dying, dying, M and F and dying, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what that was. Um, my friend Brian, when I was in treatment, kept on making up songs, and they were really fun. And last time I was in treatment, there was this guy, Dustin, and then a guy named Justin came in, and I was like, you guys are going to be best friends because your names sound the same. So every time they were together, I'd go, Justin and Dustin, best friends forever, doing stuff and saying stuff. I probably sing that song at least... 20 to 30 times before I left last time. Because I think Justin got there like the week before I left. And he got to where Dustin, um, who was there with me most of the time, he got there a little bit after me, but um, he knew the words and he would sing along with me. I mean, like he would just say it. Like he wouldn't be like, doing stuff and saying stuff. But... I like making up. Oh, God, that's the ticket. Oh, God, I hope you can see me. Oh, yeah, it's just the reason why I can't see myself because I'm wearing these stupid reflective sunglasses. Ba -choo, ba -choo. Um, oh. Just one second. Yeah, they didn't even do anything. London Fog. Ooh, did you see that? Some came out of my mouth while I sang. Woo woo! Um, yeah, I'm just rambling about nothing. Hey, Charlotte! Did you miss me? <laughs> the, the, cord, the cord was stuck on you. And did I kind of look like Jojo on The Masked Singer? Jojo on The Masked Singer. Who is Jojo? Jojo C. Watt. Oh yes, the blonde who was the uh, she was T Rex, right? Yeah, but what was she in? What do you mean? Was she famous for? Uh, what it, what costume did she have? She had, she was the T Rex. She was the one who danced around like crazy when she was on stage. Yeah, but what did she play? What do you mean? What did she play? What was her character? Her masked character. The T Rex. I just said that. She was the T Rex. She was the T Rex. No, I was thinking no, too. the angel, um, Dark Angel was, um, oh, what oh, the? Wasn't there somebody in white or uh, at a different time? Somebody in white. I think that must have been on the first time. There was the panda the first time. Um. There was somebody who got voted off fairly early that was dressed in white. Yeah, that was Margaret Cho. She was the panda. She got voted off, like, second or third. It seemed like there was somebody that was more like a white angel, but did, did you ask him? No, there, there, there hasn't been another angel. What? Uh, that I remember. Yeah, she asked me. Yes, oh. you do. You got, a, you got a big bow on and your I head. I said because of the bow, and she said, yeah. <laughs> Although, um, Jojo Star, whatever her name is, uh, dyed her hair brown. Oh, really? It was on Facebook. And also... Want to be on my video, Charlotte? Maybe it was on TV. 
See, I'm recording right here. Here you go. This is my niece, Charlotte. Say hi, Charlotte. Hi. <laughs> Can I have a hug? I missed you. Where's Liam? Yeah, it's hot out here. I'm not wearing any shoes. Stand in the shade. <laughs> oh, that's right. The Rex and their opens? Oh, cool. Are you back at daycare with Miss um, Tony? Awesome. Sorry you're having to witness our conversation. Um, I'm doing this for my YouTube channel. Do you know, even know what YouTube is? No, she just shook her head. She goes... <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to continue my video. If you want to hang out, that's totally cool. You can, you can make another cameo appearance if you want to. But I'm, I'm going to talk. All right. Um, now I definitely don't know what I was talking about. Um, isn't my niece cute, though? She's cute AF. What? You step on something? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Shake them off. Kick your legs. Yeah, now go in. <laughs> All right. Oh, the sun's back. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I said, it's all right. But it's not really all right. Ugh. Oh, God. Gotta sneeze again. <gasps> Ouch. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, just caught myself doing this thing again. I didn't like. I don't. Oh, it froze up. What the hell? What the what? It did it again. What the heck is going on? Well, anyways, yeah, it's been like. 17 and a half minutes. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this. Sorry I was just rambling about nothing. I couldn't decide on what to talk about today. Um, so I talked about everything. And then you got to see my niece, who is adorable. Adorable. And you got to hear us talk about the mass Singer. So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if any of you watched that. But it's a really fun show. All three seasons are on Hulu if you have Hulu. But the premise, if you don't know about it, is that there are masked celebrities and they sing and the audience votes on their favorites and the one with the least amount of votes gets voted, gets kicked out each week. And um, it's, it's really fun because like, you know, like they do clues as to who they are and the judges who are Robin Thicke, um, Jenny McCarthy, Ken Jeong, and... Um, Oh, fly on my foot. Um, what the hell is her name? Now it's going to bug me. I have to look it up. She was in the Pussycat Doll. Nicole Scherzinger. Nicole Scherzinger. Um, and it's really funny. Like, Ken Jeong is hysterical. Because he's always like, I know exactly who this is. And he comes out with some, like, outlandish storyline of who the person is. And um, he thought that... Um, not Gladys Knight. Um, was Gladys, whoops. Nope, not going to say anything. Um, who was the diva from the second season? I can't even remember. But he kept on saying that that person was uh, Bjork. And it's it was very clearly, ooh, excuse me. It was very clearly a, bla a black singer. And so it was just funny. Like He came out with all these outlandish guesses just for comedic Relief. He didn't get a couple this season, this last season, season three. Uh, but I think Jenny McCarthy got the most correct. I think she got four. Um, but anyway, um, oh, another good show. What the heck is on there? Another good show is um, Zoe's um, extra Zoe's extraordinary playlist. Um, it's, 
there's singing in it because the premise is this girl gets a um, an MRI and she's listening to music during it and there's an earthquake because they live in San Francisco and in the in the span of the the earthquake like all of the music library that was play, uh, that was possible in this MRI machine like kind of goes into her head so whenever she like they, they end up calling them heart songs and what it is is when someone's thinking or feeling something she sees a musical number the rest Spoiler. of the world doesn't see it um the rest of the world doesn't see it but it's really funny it's a really funny show it's got um oh god what is her name <sighs> she's been in lots of things she's the mom of of zoe and the dad i can't remember his name either he was the who was asleep and while you were sleeping movie with sandra bullock from the 90s um he's in it and he's dying and um he can't speak because whatever disease he has like he loses motor function um and uh so when when like she can see her dad sing because he's still there and he has feelings and so she gets to basically interact with her dad in a way that no one else really can and she confides in him what's going on so um it's just it's really funny lots there's a lot of hilarity there's some good songs um one of the women from i believe was it gossip girl the mom from gossip girl is in it she can't sing very well but she's an amazing character she has like this whole arc like that she goes through and it's just really funny um because first she's like this total like hard ass and then she like totally becomes cool and um it's got i can't remember his name austin something i think from pitch perfect the guy that um the that uh, anna kendrick's character ends up with he's in it um Anyways, it's just, there's a lot to it, and it's really funny. I highly recommend it. And that is also on Hulu. That's where I watched it. Um, that's where I, that's what I watch a lot of shows on Spoilers. now, Hulu and Netflix. All right, what does Barlow want? Face ID. My first roommate from when I was in treatment last time uh, relapsed a while back, and he just can't get back on the sobriety train. And we've been trying to talk him, talking him into going back to treatment, and he's really resistant. Um, but he'll text me or call me to talk about his girl problems. But whenever I bring up going back to treatment, he's like, yeah, I'll call them today. He hasn't called them yet. Like, he was put into the hospital for dehydration from all of his drinking, and he still won't go, and it breaks my heart. I love him like a brother, and the last thing I want to see is, I mean, it's going to be, I mean, a catastrophizing comment, but I don't want to see him die. I don't want to see anything bad happen to him. I care about him a lot. He was my first roommate, and he was really one of the first people to be really nice to me on the men's side last time. Because I was over there for, I think, like a week, week and a half before they moved, moved me to the women's side. And um, it just it makes me sad um, to see him struggle again. And then again, I never saw him struggle to begin with. But um, I can't really judge him for it because I struggled this spring and... Um, didn't think I was worth going back to treatment. And that's why I tried to end my life, because I was sick of it. But, um, wow, I really am talking all over the place. I don't even know what to name this video. Maybe it'll just be like, random talking, or randomness with Drew, or I'll think of something witty and funny. Um, if you've even watched this far, I know like my average watch time is like 13 minutes on all of my videos. So, um, you know. I'm not mad that not everybody watches the whole thing, um, especially this video. This video sucks. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So 
Love you all. Have a great day and night. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Pachow, pachow. And I will see you all later. Bye.